What's up, my uh, YouTube following? As you can see, I got a haircut. I've got my boost things right here. There. Far line for a hard box. That's right. Yeah, um, I did a unboxing video uh, about uh, last week, but I uploaded the video like two or three days late about my monster headphones. The new in years I got. Uh, these ones to be precise. With that incredible feel. I said I was going to do a video after one week, and it's been precisely one week. And um, all I can say is uh, these are fantastic, but Tangle Free is a lie. All headphones that say Tangle Free, they're lying about that one thing. They, they always tangle, no matter what. They always tangle. But yeah. Sound-wise, as you guys know, I am a sound buff. I'm a music buff. I love to mess with sounds on my phone with equalizers and whatnot. And that's not any different with my G3 or my Stylo. I prefer Android for the win. But with the G3, because I have a custom recovery, I prefer Android and Adobe Atmos for the win. But I really didn't need uh, Adobe Atmos at all with these. Uh, well, other than uh, the loudness, because on the current ROM that I have, music isn't that loud. Uh, on the stock ROM, on the other hand, it's super fucking loud. But yeah, on um, this custom ROM, uh, other than the loudness equalization on Adobe, and the just a little bit of bass tuning, and these are eargasm worthy, but even without an equalizer. So if you're an iPhone user or whatever, these are golden. Don't don't get Beats. Beats. Even though these come from the same company as Beats, Monster. Um, but just they're incredible and not Beats by Dre. These are phenomenal headphones. Um, the name of them was it? Uh, if I say it wrong, look at the other video. Uh, that's the actual name and everything. Uh, they are the in sync. No, that's not it. Something, but yeah, uh, these headphones come with three or four gel pairs. I have not switched them out at all. Probably should have for this video and see what fit my ear best but most headphones the stock one that comes with it always fits but these are surprisingly big uh, ear things and they fit perfectly they do not feel it they cancel out noise wonderfully but they let enough noise come in so i can hear traffic when I'm walking and I'm just in La La Land, uh, they let enough noise in that you know you're gonna get run over so you can get the fuck out of the way. But yeah, that's basically it. These headphones, definitely worth the buy. Especially right now on Amazon, it's just at 30 something dollars. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, original price fifty dollars. I wouldn't say they're worth fifty, but compared to other in-ear headphones that I've tried at that price range, these are definitely worth fifty dollars. But I just say fifty is pushing it, maybe forty, maybe. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's basically it. Check out my Moto 360. I will do a review on this like MKBHD did. Uh, probably when I get some more straps so I can show you that stuff. But yeah. Um, that's basically it. Sayonara. I know a quick re little review video. You didn't really see me bobbing my head or anything. Mostly because... Uh, they're just... Bleh. They're not huge, big, or have that much of a presence. I really forget I'm wearing them most of the time. 
Yeah, the one grimy, the one thing, Ahorita, one thing no mando, I don't really like about it is this. ¿Eh? No mando, teléfono, la, la, la. It does not look like that, no, 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 no. which is the ones I prefer, but surprisingly for it being like this, uh, it's worked out very well. No breaks, no rips, no tears, nothing. I pulled on them hard <laughs> twice on accident. And they're still together. In one week, I managed to almost break these things, and they still work phenomenally. No distortion sound. They're not lower in volume or quality or anything. They're amazing headphones. I may or may not buy any new headphones after this because I'm in love with those. But if you have any questions on any other headphones and you want it to be reviewed and you notice that MKBHD or any of the other big uh, reviewers haven't looked at those headphones and you found them, I will take one for the team and I'll order them or I'll talk to the people and see if they can send them to me and I'll do a review on them just for you just so that you can see whether or not they're worth the amount of money they're asking for. But yeah, deuces and uh, after this the Moto360 and then the phone, and then a case for my G Stylo that I barely got offered to do a review on. I'm s ah, yeah, I feel blessed because someone offered me the case to review it, and I don't have to pay for it. I feel I feel feel happy about that. But yeah, um, the reason I haven't been <laughs> uploading that many videos, even though I said I would is because class is in session. I'm in college, I'm a college student. I can't upload videos every, I can't even record videos every day. It's school or this, and honestly right now, school is looking like a good thing to me. So uh, peace out, I'll make videos whenever I can. But yeah, headphone review, sort of review. You know how my reviews go. I give these headphones a 10 out of five. One through five gets a ten. Broke my scale. Yeah, these are amazing. Go cop that. Cop that. You right there. Sort of breaking the fourth wall, I guess. Deadpool. Uh, yeah. Cop that. Cop it now. Link down below. Go buy those headphones. They are amazing. They come in variety of color, as you saw in the opening video. Previous video. But yeah. Go do that. And uh, I'm going to sit here, wait for customers, and listen to some Tech 9. See ya.